tell them how to solve a times a times a plus a equals 10. Solving for values of a that satisfy this equation. Let's multiply this out a times a, that is a power 2 times a, which is a to the power of 3 plus a, and this equals 10. So, what we can do is to express this 10 here as summation of a and 2. Have a power 3 plus a equals this is 8 plus 2. So, from here, have a power 3 plus a. And this is equals 8 is simply 2 to the power of 3 plus 2. So from here, what I can do is move this over here and also move this over here. So what I'm going to have is simply a power 3. This is minus 2 power 3 plus a minus 2 equals 0. So what we are going to do is to expand this. Now, if you have x power 3 minus y power 3, this equals x minus y times x squared plus xy plus y power 2. So from here, our a is x and 2 is y, so we have this is a minus 2 times a squared plus a times 2 plus 2 squared, and this is plus a minus 2 equals 0. So from here, we have a minus 2 times a squared plus 2a plus 4 plus a minus 2 equals 0. a minus 2, a minus 2, I factor that out, I have a minus 2. This device a minus 2, I have a squared plus 2a plus 4 plus a minus 2 device a minus 2, I have 1 equals 0. So from here, I have a minus 2 times a squared plus 2a plus this is 5 equals 0. We equate each of these to 0. I have a minus 2 equals 0. I have a squared plus 2a plus 5 equals 0. Let's solve these individual equations. To solve this first one here, I have a equals 2. That's my a1. To solve this, I make use of the formula method. The formula method is if you have x, this equals negative p plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 times ac divided by 2a. And 1 here is the coefficient of a squared. That is our a in this formula. 2 here is the coefficient of a. That is our b in this formula. The constant here is 5. That is our c in this formula. And this is our a since we are solving for a. We have a equals negative p. That is negative 2 plus or minus square root of b squared, that is 2 power 2, minus 4 times 1 times 5, divided by 2 times 1. So from here, f a equals negative 2 plus or minus square root of, this is 4, minus 20, divided by 2. From here, f a equals negative 2, plus or minus the square root of negative 16 divided by 2. So from here, f e equals negative 2 plus or minus, there's minus here, square root of negative 1 times square root of 16 divided by 2. We have a equals negative 2 plus or minus, this is i that is i times square root of 16 divided by 2. So from here, I simply have a equals negative 2 plus or minus i times square root of 16. This is 4 divided by 2. So from here, if a equals this, cancel this, cancel this, you have 2. We have negative 1 plus or minus i times 2. So we have 
two complex solutions. We have A2, which make it from cross I times 2. And from here we have A3 equals negative 1 minus I times 2. These are the two complex solutions for A. And we also have one real value for A, which is this A equals 2. So what we are going to do would be to check by inserting this particular real value for A. So we have check. We have A equals 2, that is our resolution, of A times A times A, plus A equals 10, and our A is 2, we have 2 times 2 times 2, plus 2, is equals 10, 2 times 2, 4, 4 times 2, 8, 8, this is 8 plus 2, equals 10, 8 plus 2 is 10, and this equals 10. So guys, this is it. This value of A has satisfied the equation. So that is it. Thank you and goodbye.